uh, variable my list two, which is basically a reference to uh, the object that my list references. Okay, so now you have two references to the same object. So by saying my list two is equal to the whole an entire slice of my list, you're saying the values of my list or the values that my list uh, references. Okay, so that's what that is. And now an easier way to do this rather than assigning to a slice and then reversing that is just to if I say my list or reverse and my list two equals none. Now you could say my list two equals reversed and then my list. Now reversed is um an arbitrary function, it's not a list method so it doesn't need to be my list dot reversed you can just call reversed and then pass it the sequence uh, as a uh, as an argument and that will return a value okay which means that now my list 2 contains oh I have to put print my list 2 um, that should be oh I know why because um, you have to do it slightly differently than I originally said. Okay, so my list two equals, and then use the list function on the reversed to turn that list reverse iterator object, as you can see it says there, into a list. And then if you look at my list two now, there we go. And my list, though, still contains the original list. Okay, um, so that's that. Now the next thing, the next function is, or method, sorry, is the sorted, or sort method. Um, so if I call uh, on my list two, because at the moment my list uh, one, or the original my list is one two four, so it's already sorted. If I call my list dot sort, um, and again this says in place so um, I'll talk about that in a sec but for now my list dot sort my list two dot sort if I look at my list two now one two four okay cool um, so again this is in place so actually a lot like reverse there is a function called um, sorted okay so if I assign my list two equal to none and then I'll assign, I'll sort, wait, uh, I'll have to, I'll reverse my list. So now if I look at my list, it's backwards, and my list 2 contains nothing. So now, I could either go this route, I could say my list 2 equals my list slice, and then my list 2 dot sort, oops. Dot sort. My list 2 now contains the sorted version, and my list contains the unsorted version. Or I could say my list 2 equals uh, sorted. Okay, it's sorted my list. And now my list 2 contains the sorted version, and my list contains the unsorted. Now with this sorted function you don't need to put uh you don't need to pass it to the list function. Uh that's why the first time I tried here I didn't enclose it with the list function cuz I forgot. But yeah, with this one you don't need to. Okay. Um now there is a more complex way of sorting which I'm not actually going to cover in this tutorial cuz this is getting a bit long. Sorry guys. Um I'll cover it in the next tutorial though. Um, for now though guys, over and out.